A victim of historical abuse at the country's wealthiest school has detailed what he calls a culture of violence at Dilworth in the 1970s and the predatory nature of some staff. The school gave scholarships to vulnerable boys from broken homes. Neil Harding told the Royal Commission he went there in need of the father figure. Instead, he was groomed by a pedophile. Laura Tupo reports. At 11 years old, Neil Harding knew life at Dilworth would be tough. He was a placid child entering an all-boys Anglican boarding school. I tried to practice invisibility. I found being invisible made me less of a target. But he says sometimes he was caught off guard. My time at Dilworth was really much a, a Lord of the Flies kind of environment where the, the big boys made up the rules. and um, But the difference was, for me, was that we were being predated upon by staff. The late Reverend Peter Taylor pictured here with Neil Harding was one of those men. He was nicknamed Pumper Pig by the students and one day Neil, who was now 12, found out why. I just sit down on the ground in the, in the corner of the room, cross-legged, and then he sat down cross-legged directly facing me and I was, I was trapped. Then he proceeded to place his left hand on my right knee and started to move his hand up my thigh. So I grabbed his hand, pushed it away and leapt to my feet and got out of there. He never told anyone but later learned of another student's experience. He was allegedly sexually abused by Reverend Peter Taylor. I have been informed that he told the school at the time and was never believed. Neil Harding also says he was taken advantage of by another staff member. And said to me out of the blue, I want to cane you. I would have to do something wrong first, sir, wouldn't I? And he said, I'll be watching. He was later caned by that man. Neil Harding has tried for years to raise his concerns about the abuse he and others experienced at Dilworth. Finally, in 2018, he worked with the Trust Board to develop a child safety policy. I'm really confident that the Dilworth now is not the Dilworth that I experienced. And people are having to face questions in court over what happened historically. Seven men face sex and drugs charges in relation to alleged abuse at Dilworth from the 1970s to 2000s. But today, Neil Harding finally had his chance to be heard. To have a room full of people that are actively listening to what I have to say is, um, has been really validating. He's encouraging any other abused old boys who haven't come forward to do so. Laura Tupo, News Hub.